Hey guys, got a little uh, trick for you to help with the FPS in seven days to die. So, um, first of all, let's load it up. Now, I will disclaim on this um, for seven days to die specifically. Uh, if you have a top of the range awesome computer, it probably won't work as effective for you because seven days to die does have inbuilt FPS problems. You see, even on Mad Moles. Um, videos he gets around between 60 and 70 FPS but um, this is more for the people who have less than perfect computers that need to get up to that level Now this trick will help you on other games and effectively double your, your FPS but um, I'm just gonna load up a, a game to show a typical FPS in the game Okay, to let that, let that noise get on first, but I'm just gonna adjust the game volume here. Okay, so so right now I've got a campfire, one campfire, one forge, and about six torches in the room I'm in. You hit F. Hit F8, and you see the FPS. Right now, I'm running at 27, 25 to 30, and it keeps bouncing. And it's slightly lower than normal because I have got my recording software on, and I'm not, I haven't got my optimize on it yet. Also, not on my best computer. So as you see, it's Running consistently between 25 and that, when I hit into a light source, it drops. If I start running around, it's only really when the, the flames come into view that it drops, but I might, I might need that later. And then if I go down to bedrock. start jumping up because I'm away from the flame, got no light sources nearby. Okay, so remember that FPS there, and we're going to do a couple of uh, changes. Now this only works on people with Windows, it works with any version of Windows. Um, I'm on Windows 10 now, like most people are. Uh, if you're not, you can get to the same function I'm going to through the control panel. So your all apps and go to Windows Administrative Tools. On here you've got a lot of things that you probably don't ever mess with. Um, the one we're going to mess with is your performance monitor. So right click, run as administrator. If you're not the administrator of your computer, ask your parents for the administrator password or ask them to log in and run that for you. Okay, so now d data collector sets, you can use them for several different things. Um, we're going to use them to uh, just the default properties of the graphics card. And the reason we're doing this is um, every graphics card out there, whether you've got the um, NVIDIA 1080 Ti titanium with gold flex, blessed by God, um, graphics card, or whether you've got a, a simple Radeon 9600 or whatever it is, um, they're way better than what they're marketed at. Um, if they market it in the US, UK, Germany, um, Australia, or um, a lot of other westernized countries, then um, they have laws that says if you say it can run this fast, it better well run this fast. So most graphic companies will actually um, impede the performance of their graphics cards to the lowest testing because that's where every every card passes so what we're going to do is unlock lock the extra power for them and what we're going to do is create a new data collector set here 
just call call it anything. And although I'm calling it seven days today power, it'll actually work for any game. Um, it it will permanently increase your uh, FPS here. We're going to create it manually. It does say advanced, but it's pretty simple what we're going to do. So um, don't worry about doing man manually. We'll go step by step here. Okay, so on this window, what you want to um, choose is your performance counter and system configuration. Basically, what you're going to do is have the system um, monitor itself. And then if it's got any free resources, which every graphics card out there does, it will cha change it change the values so we're gonna on here we're gonna add there's a lot to a lot of go through um, unless you know what you're doing don't really mess with with them um, just stick to the ones I'm gonna gonna show you here and the one we're gonna look for here is remote graphic sorry remote FX graphics and it's there and what this will do this will allow us to change certain um, settings within the remote graphics and the remote graphics just lets it know it, it is uh, not the internal graphics it's uh, the extra card you have on there okay so the um, three that you want in here is frame quality so we're just going to add that to the counter graphics compression ratio and output frames per second Okay, so this is going to be the actual quality of the frame. This one will compress it less so that the um, the look of, of the screen is better. And this one will actually increase your FPS. So we're just going to click OK. Okay, guys, so now, now on here, um, you've got your rear cameras in here. Um, your sample interval you want to add, add will depend on your monitor. Um, what you're going to do is click on your display settings here. You're going to go to advanced display settings. Display adapter properties and then click on your monitor. Now if you never, like me on this computer, never installed a specific driver for your monitor, it's probably going to be locked at 60 hertz here. Um, if you're a on your gaming rig and you've had it um, tweaked to peak performance it could be 128, 144, uh, 288 depending on the monitor so uh, check here and whatever that number is is the number that you're going, going to the number that you're going to put into the interval here okay so next we're going to click on next we're not going to put anything in the registry keys we're not messing with the registry on this hack can leave leave this uh, as it is in the root directory um, you might want to make make a note of it in case you ever want to deactivate it leave it as default you already ran the program as administrator so it's going to think you're an administrator and then we're going to open the properties for the for the collector set or you can save and close and access it through here it will come up as a sub item under user defined but we're going to go ahead and edit some of these defaults. So, okay, so I'm just going to give a s simple description. That way, um, when we come back looking at them later, we can see what's see what we're trying to do with this. And we're going to add some keywords. Uh, without keywords, it's not going to do much. So we're going to add in CPU, you're going to add in the name of your adapter, which if you've still got your advanced properties open, you can get from there. Otherwise, just right click on your desktop, display, go display adapter properties. I guess I had it open. And it will tell you right here. So we're just going to type that out. And 
that ex that explains why I was getting low FPS in there because that's only the 880 on this machine. So just make sure it's exactly as it as it's put in there. Some people say that um, case doesn't matter on there, but I always try to keep it matched exact. Um, that way, the system, without any doubt, knows exactly what what it's running. We can get rid of that one, and then we're also going to add. Okay, guys, and then the last one we're going to add is your multiplier. Uh, we're just going to do two. If you do more than that, it's not going to do anything. Uh, you technically can do less than that, 1.5, 1.8, um, you know, any of the one points. But what's the point? You want to double the speed, so let's go for the full double. Um, the system won't add more than it can. So um, if you can only add 1.1, it's only going to make it 1.1 multiplier. Um, but you should be able to get a, a, a double here. Leave this as when it's system. And then we're going to add a stop condition as well. So the stop condition, um, most people will have it set to three. If you're on a real, real complete potato, set it to one. If you're on a master race computer, set it to five. Um, this is basically dependent on your CPU. If you've got a you know, 12 core power, powerhouse, um, top of the line, processor or multi multiprocessor rig set it to five because this is how long it's going to run each test for um, so potato just have it run one second it will check that every so often it will hit on the uh, one second test if it's got any resources to spare it'll add them um, you know you of course going to get a better performance if you try to do the five but you'll be uh, using up more cpu which you need for other things um, so a three is a three is a good good uh, duration. So that's that bit done. So we're gonna apply it. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is actually go into your seven days to day power, and you'll see your different uh, collectors here. Okay. So what we're gonna do on this one is we're gonna go into your data collector one. We're gonna hit properties, and this is gonna be your properties on it. So your sam sample interval should be the same as on that first one. You might to refresh that sample. From this one here, it's 60. Yours may be 144, 120, 288, whatever, whatever you put on that first screen. And then we can use maximum, and we're going to times it by your um, multiplier. So if, if you took my advice and did two, 120. You do, if you, this is 144, then this one will be 288. If this is 288, then it would be. <coughs> so if this is uh, 60, you'll put 120. If it's 120, you'll put 240. If it's 144, you'll put 288. Whatever it is, double this one by you, your multiplier to make this one. If your multiplier was a 1.5, then you'd only put this at 90. It's basically your. Monitor refresh rate times your multiplier equals this field. So we're going to apply that. And the last thing you want to do now is restart your computer. Nothing's going to happen until you've restarted your computer. Uh, this is a system configuration that, that we've changed. So we're going to go ahead and restart the com computer and uh, we'll start recording record again once we're back. Okay, guys, I actually screwed up one, one thing on there. I realized I was restarting. Um, so, let me just bring back up the administrator tools here. Always run it as administrator when you're changing things. We're going to go back to the data s collection set. On the data collector one properties. Make sure you put this to seconds. And we put it on there.
here, so it's just loading up the game I've already got. I've got a few light sources, I've got my torch on, I've got a campfire, I've got a forge. You can see we start off with pretty good FPS as we go around. Outside, out the way, we're about the 16. So, yeah, you still have the occasional dip, but your main performance is a heck of a lot better. 